it's my pleasure to introduce to everybody the judges for the Oroville category of films. So we're very happy to have them here with us online. Unfortunately, because of the situation, we couldn't welcome them in person. But uh, yeah, at least now we have an international audience and our uh, judges can be internationally introduced to the world. So thank you all for being here. And uh, I'll ask you each to just say something about yourselves and your involvement with film and cinema for our viewers. Um, and we'll do it in alphabetical order. So we'll take Anchal first, and uh, after Anchal, Premendra, and after Premendra, Radhika. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. Missing being in Oroville. We I was there two years ago and was looking forward to it, but I think for all the reasons that are good, um, we are all online. And I'm actually really excited that this is going to be the first edition of the Oroville Film Festival that's going international and online. So actually that's very, very exciting, having seen that journey uh, of the festival. The reach is going to be crazy and uh, we are all going to outreach it quite a lot. Uh, so I'm Anshil Kapoor. Um, well, I, I guess I would say that I have been a film buff of all kinds of films as a young uh, person. As actually a child, I used to be taken to those who know Sapru House in New Delhi, a hub where children's films were shown in our summer holidays. And uh, I remember watching all the black and white uh, reels that would come before Bollywood cinema. It was then not called Bollywood, it was called Hindi cinema. And uh, coming from a background uh, of a family which was political, all those reels were very important to see, you know, because they were socially relevant and politically relevant. So I think somewhere some seeds uh, were sown then. Mm, to cut the long story short, continued to watch films, got into uh, social uh, development work, and uh, began to see that films was a very important medium for awareness generation and activism and social action. And that's when um, I decided that I needed to access as many documentaries that were getting made uh, possible. So I've been working in the field of gender, social development and human rights for 30 years. And 21 years ago, um, I started the Kriti Film Club which is basically a documentary screening initiative of films on these social issues and started with the perspective of there being a consistent ongoing space to watch, access and discuss uh, thought provoking cinema. Because I felt that a lot of films were only getting seen and shown in festivals and there were much less then, uh, of course. Um, and all those who could use these films were not getting access to them. So we've been screening uh, these films now for 21 years, physically in Delhi, uh, in other parts of the country, inspired several other small groups, individuals to start film clubs. And of course, in 2020, we went online. Uh, we did 102 days of lockdown screenings. We then continued weekly screenings. Um, and we started getting requests for curating online festivals, which we were doing otherwise physically. So over the last now two years, we have done three online uh, feminist film festivals on our portal doculive.blogspot.com. And it's been very exciting because we've been able to reach a large number of filmmakers from South Asia um, and a huge number of audience as well. Um, I think I will stop there and just say that um, Oroville Film Festival is very special. And I think this year is looking really amazing with the collection of films uh, that you all have put together. And of course, uh, we have also from the Kriti Film Club helped uh, identify and put in some films. So looking forward to this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anshul. Thank you. And uh, now we can meet uh, Premendra. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, okay. very well. Okay, and now uh, for me, it is very difficult to talk about myself. I am not very much uh, 
uh, I feel shy <laughs> on this issue. Uh, I, I am basically a film society activist and a film critic. Um, I am with the film society movement for the last more than 40 years, I think, more than 40 years, and also with the film criticism like this. And right now I am uh, holding some uh, posts. Uh, it has been imposed on me. Uh, I'm the vice president of the Federation of Film Societies of India and also the general secretary of the Fipreski India chapter. So uh, for these two organizations, uh, I have to work a lot. And uh, as because I'm working for, as a consultant and advisor for most of the uh, big film festivals in India and outside also, uh, like uh, Bangalore, like uh, Pune, like uh, uh, Third Asian Film Festival, Mumbai, I'm the program director there. So uh, I uh, practically most of the time of the day I have to spend with the cinema. So Auroville was uh, always my special favorite. And day after tomorrow, I was supposed to go there. Uh, my friend Palani invited me. And I'm very, very sad that uh, just yesterday the ticket has to be canceled for these situations. And I have uh, committed him that at the first um, first opportunity, I, last month I was in Pune Festival. I attended physically. And uh, first opportunity, I will come to Auroville. Uh, whether there is a festival or not, that is not a problem. Uh, any cinematic activity, I will join there. And uh, anyway, it's very uh, my privilege that I, uh, I, I will be the, I have uh, the opportunity to work as your colleagues. I can learn from you also. Mm, so uh, as uh, I have served in more than 40 juries, I think, uh, but uh, all the time I have to do all these things and still Auroville is all, and I, I, I have seen all uh, more than 50% films I already have seen made by the Aurovillians and it's fascinated me like anything. Uh, how interesting the subjects, how they, they're treating it is just like uh, something else. What we generally watch in different festivals, it is, uh, quite different from that and uh, in today's meeting i will love to uh, uh, love to uh, take your suggestions on how to judge this because it is very it will be very difficult because all the films are different genres some are very short some are very long some are dealing with some abstract issues some are dealing with some uh, philosophical issues so how to judge this it's a very difficult so please suggest me on that issue also thank you very much for inviting me here thank you so much premendra for agreeing to be a judge for this edition of the film festival. So now Radhika, would love to hear you introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Radhika Khanna and I teach in the School of Media and Communication, Pondicherry University. And I also head the Educational Multimedia Research Center here at uh, Puducherry. Uh, thanks a lot for inviting me to be a judge uh, at the Oroville International Film Festival. It's a special occasion, a very special occasion where we're going to see a lot of films on human unity and other subjects which are very important to the evolution of humankind. Oroville is a very special place. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we are physically not there, uh, you know, uh, giving uh, each other our presence and support. But I do hope that this online venture uh, will help us reach out to many, many more people and, you know, connect uh, uh, at a deeper level through cinema. So to briefly, you know, introduce myself, uh, I did my MA and PhD in mass communication from uh, the AJK Mass Communication Research Center, Jamia Millia Islamia, that was way back in the 1990. And uh, while I was a student of Jamia in Delhi, I had the good fortune of uh, learning film appreciation from Mr. P.K. Nair, uh, you know, who's the doyen of uh, film preservation and restoration in India. He's no more, but he was the founder director of the National Film Archives of India. And I remember as a student at Jamia, he came in for a one week workshop and he kept us till two o'clock in the night. You know, from morning nine to two, we would watch the same film 20 times, uh, break it down shot by shot, frame by frame. And he would have the transparencies of each and every frame and it was that moment, you know, those moments of uh, looking at film in a very, very thorough manner, in a deeply, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, observational and analytical manner that started off my connection with uh, loving cinema. Of course, at Jamia, we learned filmmaking, we learned radio production, we learned television production, we did street theater uh, with Bhanumati Roy and Faisal Al-Kazi. But... Uh, uh, you know, the magic of cinema and documentaries. I mean, Jamia, we had a very good grooming in, in being introduced to the documentary form. 
So like Anshil, the documentary form is very, very dear to my heart, as is any form of cinema. And uh, the moving image with, oh, you know, everything in it uh, brings you into a world where you can discover so many worlds outside of your own personal subjective worlds. So uh, I finished my education in Jamia and uh, I had offers to join production houses, but I went to where my heart wanted me to go, which was working with this another doyen of, uh, uh, you know, uh, creative arts in India, Mr. Bar Barry John. And he uh, had started his own theater and education company and was looking for actor teachers. And theater was another area which I really wanted to pursue. So just the day after my last day of Jamia, I joined him. And I worked with him as an actor teacher uh, and learned a lot uh, being with him and working with a person who was so passionate about the role of theater in education. So I continued being an actor teacher uh, 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 and I'm still an actor teacher and I continue doing theater and education workshops. But primarily now I teach graduate students of mass communication in Pondich University. So what I do is I deploy all that I've learned in my life, uh, not only skills like filmmaking and television, radio production and multimedia production, but experiences of life that have enriched me, including uh, exposure to the thought of Sri Aurobindo and the mother and how to integrate all of that and uh, you know, work towards an integral education. So uh, it is a great joy to be here. And uh, I have been using uh, uh, cinema documentary films, theater, and journalism to work on issues of gender, on environment and education. And I keep stoking my students and, and I, I, I encourage them to work on issues of human development, on issues of peace. And as we are working on and looking at uh, uh, films on human unity uh, at the film festival, I think these are areas that all of us really need to work towards. Last but not the least, I have recently forayed into the field of e-learning or online learning. And it's been a great joy because I never realized that creating a course and putting it out there online would get me to be introduced to people who are 75 years old and 85 years old and 16 years old from all across the world. And just because they want to learn photojournalism and they sign up for a course and the course becomes an instrument or, or, or a bridge to reach out to other souls and other people. So I run this uh, uh, massive open online course on Government of India's free uh, e-learning portal called Swayam. And all the courses on this platform are absolutely free for anybody of any wage, anywhere in the world to sign up for. And uh, I've enjoyed creating a course on photojournalism and it will run again this year from July onwards till October. And I hope that somebody who's hearing me somewhere in the world may join me in the smoke on photojournalism on Swam. So bless you all and looking forward to connecting with all of you in this beautiful space called the Orville Film Festival. Thank you. Thank you very much, Radhika. And uh, just a word for our audiences. So uh, our film festival has um, over the last one and a half years, has been working closely with all the uh, judges through Radhika. Um, of course, Radhika is the one in uh, close to us physically because she's in Pondicherry, right, uh, as our neighbor. And uh, so she is going to be taking our festival to all the students of her uh, mass communication course. Premendra, um, we've met, uh, uh, very much uh, online and through emails because uh, the South Asian Short Film Festival, which he is organizing, was a provider of many of our short human unity films. He really put us in touch with the filmmakers that we needed and helped, um, and helped us to get these films as well. And uh, Anchal, of course, has been associated uh, with us since 2011, our second uh, film festival. And Pretty Film Club has been a constant supporter of Oroville Film Festival, always helping us to um, get in touch with the filmmakers that uh, we are looking for and advising us on um, 
the selection of the human unity films. So I want to also thank all three of you from the whole team at Oroville Film Festival, not only for being here right now for this week with us as uh, jury members, but also for all the help you have given uh, through this last year. And uh, just to say that uh, these three, um, Anchal, Premendra and Radhika are the jury for the Oroville category of films. They will be judging, I think, 14 or 13 uh, films and one is only from a student. Um, and we look forward to what, uh, what you come up with and uh, what you tell us at the end of the week, who the winners are, we're waiting to um, move. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.